Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the strength of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. What you have heard, 
what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked at and touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. This life was revealed, and we have seen it and testified to it, and declare to you the eternal life that was with the Father and was revealed to us. We declare to you what we have seen and heard, so that you may also have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We are writing these things so that our joy may be complete. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him while we are walking in darkness, we lie and do not do what is true. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he who is faithful and just will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, if we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is in the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Amen.
the gospel, the good news of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Jesus' Son cleanses us from all sin. 
We're not in this group to say that we're better than everybody else. We're not in this group to reinforce one another's holiness, our righteousness. We're in this group to reinforce that we are members of the body of Christ, and we all make mistakes. But, gloriously, our Lord and Savior forgives us those mistakes if we ask forgiveness. Paul reminds us of this. But if we say that we have no sin, then Christ is not with us. We're lying to ourselves and to our neighbors and to God. I'm sure you've all been in communities like that where there's this kind of holier-than-thou feeling and everybody's done no wrong ever since they were saved by the blood of Jesus. And it's just, it feels tense and untrue because it is untrue. We're not perfect. None of us are. But that's the wonderful part about living in fellowship with God and with Christ and then with our fellows who are also doing the same thing is we know that yes, we're going to sin, yes, we're going to make mistakes, and we're just called to forgive one another for those. We're called to give one another grace and mercy and say it's okay because we are all living in relationship with God and with Jesus and all you have to do is ask for forgiveness. And it's good. Not to say that there are never any negative consequences for our actions. I don't want to imply that. There certainly can be. That's what laws are. But as far as faith goes, as far as all of us living together and trying our best to get closer to God, to build that one relationship that never goes away, it's sort of the theme of all of the Sundays after Easter is this living into relationship. The Acts of the Apostles, we're going to read more from that. It's living into relationship. Pentecost, living into relationship. Living into relationship with God and with Jesus and with one another. So I pray that this Easter season that all of us would open our hearts and our minds to God and to one another. To lifting one another up in Christ giving one another grace and forgiveness and we love. And may we all grow in love and righteousness with Jesus Christ and with God. Amen. Amen. stand as you're able, and affirm with me our faith using the ancient words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father and the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from life. True God from true God, begotten from the King, of the one being the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified and conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us with all confidence bring before God the needs of our world 
asking God for renewal, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. God of life, in gratitude and great joy, we praise you for the gifts of Christ's resurrection. Throughout this Easter season, give all God's people hope, for Christ is risen indeed. So we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy One, we commit ourselves to work toward the unity of your church, that Christ's body may be one, for Christ is risen. So we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Honoring the gift of Christ's risen body, we may rise to serve all those who have needs that they are unable to meet, for Christ is risen. So we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have need of the gift of Easter, for all who journey from illness to health, from despair to hope, from grief to consolation, from loneliness to love, especially Kara, Owen, Huawei, Ron, Elaine, Wayne, Brian, Helen, Cheryl, Suzanne, Rick, Jim, Marlis, Chris, Joy, Donna, Paul, Don, Frank's family, Susie, Patrick, and Diamond, that illness and despair may have no more power over them. For Christ is risen, so we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all who have died in your faith be received at your heavenly banquet, and may we be one in faith with all of them, especially Alan Ruff, Joyce Schroeder, Renee Joy, Anne Slaybaugh, Alex Wyman, and Linda Clark. In baptism we die with Christ to the sure joy of resurrection, for Christ is risen, so we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemies, Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and pray on us, through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only in your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins for our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of our Christ be with you.
version. Good morning, everybody. We're so glad that you came to visit with us today in person and also to our viewers that are watching us online. We're real happy that you came. We have a wonderful puppy hour for you afterwards. We had hot up today, so there are lots of good things in there, homemade things. So, really good. <laughs> so thank you for working with us today. Okay. Good morning. So, if you're wearing one of these, stand up. Woohoo! They're in my house. All right. We have all sizes. Um, they're super soft, they're Arizona lightweight. Um, they wash well and dry, I'm just saying, uh, and they're $10 over at Parish Shop after church. Um, we also have the old ones. If you're if you're nostalgic and you want an old one, I'll give you a deal, buy a price. So, uh, yeah. And I didn't bring change for that, though, so we might have to get creative. So we've got that happening. Um, April 20th is our next Clarn event. It's going to be over at the Mormon Church. I'll get to the address in time, but it's from 10 to 12. And if you don't know what Clarn is, it's plastic yarn, and we crochet it into sleeping mats for the homeless. And so it's a community-wide event. Um, if you can use a pair of scissors, you can Clarn. And we provide all the plastic because we recycle grocery bags, so it's a win-win. Um, so hope you can join us there. Do we have any other announcements? Oh yeah, so April 8th is a big day because everyone knows the eclipse is going to happen, right? It's also the day we get painted. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're very excited. <laughs> so next Sunday, please come, because we're going to be a whole different color on the outside. So, we're very excited. Yeah. Anything I forgot? I don't think so. All right, great. We'll see you at coffee hour. Thanks. And I know I said in pre Peter that we were going to have continuing ed class today. Um, that was earlier in the week when I was a little more optimistic and wasn't sick yet. So I yes, in today's class, just out of an abundance of caution, I don't want anyone to be to get sick. Okay? So we'll pick it up again next week. Birthdays. Oh yes. Anyone who would like to come forward for a lesson for birthdays or for um, travel.
your heart. We give to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and grace. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you. Joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. <laughs> Body, 
body of Christ.
God, in the grace of God, strengthen you to be Christ's hands and hearts in this world. In the name of the Holy Church. Amen. Amen.